Hi, everyone. Nicole Russo coming to you for the DRF Breeding Report with one last update on the sales statistics coming out of the Marathon November breeding stock sale season here in Kentucky. The Keeneland November sale wrapped up its 12-day run last Friday. You can find a complete recap of the auction and statistics at drf.com. But one segment of the market that I a little bit today is the weanling market, because I think it was one of several market segments that showed uh, not only strength, but some optimism for the thoroughbred sale and breeding industry. The top two priced weanlings at Keeneland November, both fillies by perennial leading sire Tappet. We're going to put the pedigree of the uh, auction category leader up on the screen for you here, an $800,000 Tappet filly. You'll see there that she's out of champion love or dodd. And one interesting note, th this weanling purchased in partnership by Three Chimneys Farm and Mandy Pope's Whisper Hill, and they're what you would call end users. That is, somebody who t who's planning to follow through on the racing and potentially breeding career of their purchase, as opposed to a pin hooker looking to wheel the horse back around at a yearling or a two-year-old sale later on. And we saw a lot of end users buying not only at Keeneland November, but also at the phase of Tipton November sales just prior to it. And what that indicates to me is that these people have faith in not only in the long-term future for their purchases and the long-term strength of the industry, but also that they've got faith that next year's yearling market will also continue to be strong. They're getting in here early with these weanling purchases rather than waiting until next summer and fall to try to purchase these horses because they know that the competition will only get stronger. The prices will only go up. That certainly caused some frustration for the weanling to yearling pinhook buyers during the Keeneland November sale. But to me, it's, it's a sign that the industry has has faith that you know the kind of the current market stability and strength is going to continue. The weanling market showing some very good signs ten years on from the recession. That's all for this week on the DRF Breeding Report. I'm Nicole Russo coming to you from Kentucky. Thanks for tuning in.